Hello there, my name's Shane Sterling. Welcome to my channel. I'm outside in the sun right now. Got my sunnies on, getting a little sun. I love the sun. The sun makes me feel amazing. I like to get, man, if I can, I like to get at least 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day. Today I've been out 40 minutes and I'm feeling jazzed, you know? I'm feeling so jazzed by the sun. Vitamin D and just vital life force energy. It makes me feel like I am alive. So, I wanted to talk about something that I was thinking about while I'm laying here feeling jazzed up. And, you know, this is a topic that I don't think a lot of people talk about. And I don't think a lot of people even know that it's a topic at all. It comes from raw food. It come, the topic arises when you are on raw food long enough. And I think it's so important. I think it's so important. I really want to share. And that is squelching our emotional selves. Squelching our emotions through cooked food, squelching who we really are through addictions and sugar and chemicals. And that's an epidemic in our society right now, absolute epidemic across the planet, across planet Earth and all of humanity. And I think what happens is we eat the cooked foods, you know, hamburgers and fries or, you know, steak and potatoes or, uh, you know, ice cream or Whatever it is, whatever it is, the sugars, the refined carbohydrates that turn to sugar in the body, the, the complex protein animal products that turn to sugar in the body, all these sugars, all these toxins in the body squelch our emotions, squelch who we are, squelch our feelings, squelch our truth, squelch what's really happening. And we hide from ourselves and we don't even know it. Now you take all those things out of your diet, you take all those things out of your life and what's gonna happen? Your emotions are going to come up. Your true feelings are going to come up. I'm serious, you know. It's going to come up and it's going to feel toxic. And it's going to feel scary. But you got to push through because what else are we going to do? We're going to spend our whole life hiding from who we really are and, and, and squelching who we really are with toxic foods and cooked foods. I don't think it's a good idea. I haven't done it. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm going on the raw food path. I've been on raw food for nine months of my life. And I'm not going to go back to cook food. I have had a revelation. I've had an awakening on raw food. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I absolutely 100% think that every human being needs to do it. I think that I haven't even felt the benefits like I'm feeling now for nine months. It's taken me nine months to feel like how I'm feeling. I can't wait till it's nine years. I'm chomping at the bit. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life on raw foods. Face who I am. Feel my feelings emotionally and intelligently evolve myself the real way now that I'm on like a new game board. I'm on a new game board, man. If you're eating the cooked foods and the junk foods all the time, you're on you're on a game board that's got you stuck, man. You only got so many spaces to move to. But raw food is a whole new game board. It's an elevated game board. So that's a real message that I need to share because it's real, you know, and I got my sunglasses on. I love my you know looking into the camera it's bright out here though so i'm just gonna squint but anyway that's a real heartfelt message and i say this because i care i care about anyone who's listening to this message right now and i care about humanity i care about what's going on on this planet i, I care about the consciousness on this planet not just the consciousness of humans the consciousness of all sentient life and the collective consciousness of all sentient life what's that that's all sentient life. That's every single living creature on this planet, the collective conscious of all of that. That's a real thing, in case you didn't know. And that's what I feel, and that's what I tune into. I've tuned into that my whole life, since I was a kid. When I was four years old, five years old, starting kindergarten, I didn't get along so well with the other kids, because they're all kind of dummies, you know, banging trucks and like hitting each other and throwing tantrums, probably because their parents are feeding them junk food. Luckily, my mom fed me healthy food, and I, I didn't, you know, my mom tells me a story of how I'd go into the woods. We grew up in a rural part of Pennsylvania, and there were woods all around our house, and she, she told me how I'd say, Mom, I'm going to go out and find a turtle, and I'd walk out into the woods, and I'd bring home a, a boxer turtle. Those were the local species of turtles that lived there in our woods, and she'd be like, you don't just go out and find a turtle. They're hard to they're hard to spot, you know. They're pretty scarce in the woods and I would just go out and find them cuz I was tuned in. You know, that's just an example of how I've been tuned in my whole life. 
which is why I need to share this message. I, I need to share my experience with every viewer watching this because my experience might offer some value and I genuinely care about that. I genuinely care that everyone has a good experience on planet Earth. I want that and we're not anywhere near that. So I'm out here laying in the sun, getting my body charged up, getting my consciousness charged up, feeling like a million bucks on raw food, spreading the word of don't eat the junk food and squelch who you really are. Squelch your emotions. Let your emotions come up and out on raw food. Let it rise up. Let yourself feel who you really are. That's what you need to do. That's what we all need to do, whether we realize it or not, you know. It might take humanity thousands of years to get that message, get that one. But I'm waiting for it. I'll wait for it on the other side, you know. My spirit, my consciousness is here to change it. I'm here to change it from the inside. It's what I'm here to do. It's so my purpose and mission on planet Earth in this lifetime is to move the needle one step further on the scale of evolution even if I don't even if I don't lead marches in the streets I'm doing it by just being who I am you know my DNA is different my DNA can change the course of human history just by being born just by being alive and it can for you too who you are how you show up and your DNA changes everything so love yourself take care of yourself Eat more raw fruits and vegetables, get healthy, get charged, get inspired, and be who you're meant to be. Don't squelch yourself with the junk food. And that's my message today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, you can see. I can't see very well through my sunglasses, but I'm just here in service, okay? So I will see you in the next one.